Hello guys and welcome back to episode 2 of Amnesia The Dark Descent. Let's go ahead and continue this game. Now, if you guys don't remember where I left off at, I just found the red slimy wall down there actually, down that path. So now let's see here, what am I going to do? Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Burn that shit to the ground. Very drafty, but then again there's holes everywhere. Okay, so I've got... Let's go down here. That was weird. I thought the bookcase was morphing. I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was my insanity in the game. There. There goes those little things at the back of my skull. Oh no, they're on the ground. Yeah! Missed it. Yeah! Missed it. Oh well. More oil! I think this um this place needs some freedom freedom right America Oh okay this is not the right path let's go this way hmm. So I came from there so I can either go up or there let's go here let's See what is it down here wine cellar. I need a key. Whoop, I need a window. Find a key to the wine cellar. Okay. Oh! Laboratory. Laboratory. Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid sense of guilt connected negligence of the was that? Sounded like a pack of hyenas. Those spider webs? Ooh. Ooh. It's about to be Skyrim up in here. I can yell too! Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Alright. More oil! Ah, oh, there's another door. Alright. Silly roaches. Silly roaches. Darkness is for kids. Hello? Someone calls to me. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds locked the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are given are a given and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt. Aqua regia instead of aqua fortis, in hope it will produce a even a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid, is highly acidic, and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Okay, so I'm gonna have to find all that stuff. Evidence in the laboratory has revealed that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid. Yes. Ooh, I can lean. Lean with it, rock with it. Okay. Uh, Open. Ah, tinderbox. Crouch. Ha. Ah. What is that? Okay. Okay. More oil. More notes, more reading! 
The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiment has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. So, I've got to find the key to the wine cellar. Hmm. Now, where might the key lie, though? Could it be in one of these boxes? No, because these are not openable boxes. This one is, though. I need more oil. How do I... What do I do? Uh, okay, cool. Now I just gotta find out where that gosh dang key is. Get to the wine cellar, cellar get the chemicals. Alright. All the while avoiding the shadow. So I don't think it's down here. I've looked everywhere. Hmm. It might be in the upstairs part. Back where I was at. Ooh. Who's shitting in the corner? Come on. Come on. Don't shit in the corner. I'm sure you guys have toilets, even though I have seen a single bathroom in here. So he probably made a good decision. Entrance hall. Back to the main room. A fragment. A taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights. He thought. Just like the ones the consulate in Constantinople. Okay. Help! Who needs help? Hello? Hello? Sugar baby, come on. Let me help you. Let me hold you. Come on. Who needs help? Come on. That sounded like a dog. Oh, two choices, two choices. That looks uh, actually locked down there, but there may be a door on the other side. Nope, I was wrong. Let's go this way. Archives. The door slammed shut behind him, and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. I think it was. Rare books. Hey! Whoa! Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later there's always evening, more. Oh, we uncovered more. a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Ah, so I was an excavator of things. I was the Tomb Raider. I also have that game. I might end up playing it. I don't know. Hello, can you come with me? Yeah. Sounds pretty cool. Ding. Always check the hidey holes. Is there a slight humming? Like someone's humming? Kinda sounds like it. Oh. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, 
Baron of Brinningburg. Brinningburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brindenburg, is to recommend my services at the Persian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Girith. Girith. Okay, I don't know what happened to that dude. Shoop. Ah, close the door. Nope. Tinderbox? Tinderbox! I called it. Nothing. Called it. Nothing. Called it. Okay. I think that's all for this room. Yeah, yeah I think the humming's getting louder. Let's go ahead and go in here. The fuck was that? It sounded like a frog. Or, not a frog, a didgeridoo. Whoop. Somebody's walking outside. Oh, books? Books? Books! 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 You get a book! You get a book! Everybody gets a book! Okay. Wasting oil. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Hmm. So he was trapped in the, in the tomb that he was looking in. Okay, everyone else was outside. More shirts! Just in case I shit on my shirt. I don't know. Why would you ever shit? I, I don't know. I, don't ask me about that. That just kind of came out. There's so many rooms. Didn't mean to break that. But I broke it anyway. Meant to break it down there. <gasps> Book! More oil! Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone's jamming. Somebody be jamming. They ain't jamming no more. Mm. Someone's fucking with that piano, though. Okay. Yeah, that's right, I can't open those. Someone's still humming, too. I heard that. It's locked. Alright, I know there was, like, doors and passages over here. I think that's, like, curtains waving in the wind. Yeah, see, so look down here. Came through there, yeah. Yeah, okay. Hmm, there's a chimney. Looks gorgeous outside. Look at those five trees. Oh, here's the piano. 
Yay. Okay. We're good. Squee. Okay. And I believe this is where I just came from. Yeah. Hmm. Someone fell through the roof. These are some large paintings, too. Man. What? Sounds like a didgeridoo. Get out of here, GTA. Alright, yeah, I've got that too. I've recorded a couple videos. Not my favorite thing to do. I like horror less plays a lot better, but sometimes you gotta play normal games every once in a while. Maybe that's the piano they were playing. I don't know. Hey! Okay, oh, yeah. thought I saw movement in there. Scroll! More scrolls! No sc oh, one scroll. I was wrong. Light the brook on fire and just... Oh! Whoa, whoa! Well, it appears I fucked up. Hmm. Okay. I keep thinking I see a face behind there. Map room. Whoa. Whoa. You alright? Nope. Nap time. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Okay, here we go. Ooh. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. We want to touch this giant blue ball. I reached out, yep. closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped Firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Well, it appears you found something that probably triggered all this. Anyway, that's my hypothesis. But yeah, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!